for someone that was 100% against relationships. Here I am, seemingly in one with the most amazing man. Uh, I never pictured what my dream guy would look like, but gosh, Doyle, he's it. Now let me tell you this, I have been happy for all of my friends who have been in relationships in the past, but I've never understood their level of happiness un until now, until Doyle came into my life. And let me tell you, Big Sue, he has been perfect since the moment we met. Working hard or hardly working? Excuse me? Never mind, bad joke. Oh, that was supposed to be a joke. Are you trying to flirt with me? Like I said, it was a bad joke. No. Just forget about it. No, I'm sorry. It's just not you. It's just comedy. It's not really my thing right now. Well, what is your thing? It is an excellent question. I haven't got a clue. Okay. Well, my name is Doyle, and if you need help figuring out what your thing is, I'm the new manager here, and I will be standing right over there waiting to listen. All right, Doyle. I'm Paul, and I promise next time to uh, give you at least a pity laugh. <laughs> Help you, Anne. Oh yeah, I just uh, I wanted to tell you the specials. Okay. Well, not exactly the specials on the menu, but um, I just, you know, Doyle, mm -hmm. my my new boss. Well, I think he's really special, and he thinks that you're really special. So I think that you two really special guys should give it a shot. You know. I'm a hopeless romantic, so <laughs> what can you say? <laughs> well, I mean, I did think he was kind of interested. Mm. I'm just I'm just not looking to date anyone right now. I, I mean, I kind of have amnesia. You kind of have amnesia? Mm. Kind of have amnesia. But doesn't that affect the mind, not the heart? Come on, trust me. When you find a good guy, you hold on to him, especially if his ex-wife, the mother of his children, his soulmate, rises from the dead, you hold on to him even tighter. And Doyle, he is a good guy. And you, you're, you're like a brother to me, Pete. Uh, it's, it's Paul. Uh, oh, here he comes again. Okay, I'll let you two talk. Oh, uh, FYI, if you ever need a paternity test switched, I know a guy. Oh, oh, okay. Right. Just so you know, you have your hands full with that waitress. Yes, I know this, but she was highly recommended and I find her quite entertaining. <laughs> well, I'm glad you came over because she did speak very highly of you. Really? Mm -hmm. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Mm. Well, I couldn't pass up a drink with an attractive customer. Oh. So. Tell me what you're working on. Oh, uh, me, myself, and I. Sounds serious and definitely not comedic material. I know. So a little over a month ago, I had an allergic reaction to some strawberries, ended up in the hospital, and woke up with none of my memories. Oh, you got amnesia from an allergy attack. If it didn't actually happen to me, I wouldn't have believed it. <laughs> here, I thought you were just some aspiring Hollywood writer coming in here for the free Wi-Fi and unlimited coffee refills. Mm -hmm. So tell me exactly what you're working on. So I'm making these lists and I am putting down everything that I kind of remember, things that people are telling me and trying to put them all together. And so far, nothing makes sense. Have you Googled yourself? Excuse you? 
<laughs> Googled. Googled yourself. Look yourself up on the internet. Anytime I meet someone new, I always Google them to see who they are. Oh, doesn't that take away the excitement of dating someone new? Yes, a little, but I need to know if I'm wasting my time. Plus, everyone is somewhere on social media these days. It's easy to find out who you're looking for. You just gotta snoop around a little bit. If you're looking for answers, you might want to start there. I'm sure you're somewhere on social media. Hmm. Anyway, um, I have to get going and get ready for the upcoming lunch rush. Well, thanks for the tip. <laughs> you are welcome for the tip and more, if you want. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. It just it started to come out and I was like, don't say it, but... It's, a, it's all right. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks. See you soon. So yes, Doyle is an attractive man who has an incredibly sexy accent. <laughs> and why he is interested in me, I, gosh, I will never know. But that first day we met, there was something truly special about him. And he even got me out of a pretty awkward situation, thanks in part because of my amnesia. <laughs> What a surprise! I don't know you frequented this place. Darling, it's been ages since I last saw you. It's almost as if you were avoiding me. I'm sorry, do I know you? Polly, it's me! No, you're gonna have to be a little more specific than it's me. Oh, I don't know what kind of role-playing game this is, but I'll play along. <laughs> Mm. No, nope. what are you doing? Uh, Polly, okay, enough. It's me. Breeze, your lover from New York. No. Soap opera casting director extraordinaire. No, uh, um, Breeze, mm. I might have amnesia and not have a single memory, but, uh, honey, I'm gay. Homosexuality does not disappear with memory loss. That I can assure you. Amnesia? Oh wait, hold on. Did you? Are you? You're gay? Since when? Well, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say forever. I'm sorry. I just don't have any recollection of you, and let alone the fact that we used to be lovers. Are you trying to purposely hurt me? Because it's working. No. I mean, I can't believe in my heart of hearts that I was ever romantically involved with you. I, I like men too much. Oh, well, if we weren't romantically involved, how would I know about that birthmark on your thigh? Or that little scar you have here on your shoulder? And that cute little tattoo on your waistline? That basically your entire body is a erogenous zone? And let's not forget that your favorite sexual position is... Uh, I... <laughs> Don't know how you know any of that, but clearly you know me, so I must know you. Uh, well, maybe, I mean, I'm just so sorry I don't have any any recollection of you, but, but maybe you could help me piece together some of the memories that I have and, and help me figure out who I am because nothing is making sense. Oh my God. Polly, you're not, Knowing me has hurt me more than I can express. I'm sorry, but I can't stomach to be around you right now. If I can't be with you, Polly, I'll be sure that no one will. We'll be together again, you sexy son of a bitch. I promise not to ask what that was about, but I have some coverage now if you would like some non-dramatic company. Yeah, so you saw that right. She was a bit crazy. So I think I'm actually gonna go because I'm afraid she's going to come back and I would rather not be here when that happens. Uh, makes sense. Uh, um, well, I live right around the corner if you'd like to come back to my place. Oh, well, that sure beats going home. I think so too. All right, well, lead the way. Okay. Well, thank you again for letting me 
stay and hide out here last night. Mm, well, I truly enjoyed getting to know you. And you are more than welcome to come back and hide out here anytime. I might take you up on that offer. This was a lot of fun and very refreshing. Getting to spend time with someone that didn't know me before the accident with zero expectations of who I'm supposed to be. Well, you're a clean slate, Paul Goslin. Kind of like that about you. Mm. Mm. Okay, so I have got to go. I am starting therapy today. Oh, therapy! <laughs> Don't want to keep you from that. Mm. We should get going then. Okay. <laughs> Can well, I call you later? Definitely. Good. Bye. All right, I made contact. Your plan can officially begin. <laughs>